He has his own way of reassuring me and letting me know that he's there. His eyes say I love you. His smile says he cares. But there is one act of his love that I've grown to adore so very much. It's not in a gift, nor is it in a word. It's in one simple touch. No matter where we are, no matter where we at, I know my man is there to protect me simply by the way he places his hand in the small of my back. You see, it's in the small of my back that he guides me into any room. I'm his delicate flower. I'm his sweet perfume. He's sure to hold me close. He's proud to be with me. I'm the apple of his eye, and he wants others to see that it is possible to find true love no matter where you are, no matter where you're at. I know all of this simply from the way he places his hands in the small of my back. He beams from ear to ear. He's in wedded bliss and with his strong masculine hands he brings me in for a tender kiss our love is contagious others stop and admire its purity is wanted our passion is desired we don't have to say much no small talk no chat because our actions speak volumes start in the small my back. Hi. Uh, I wanted to take the time to do a video montage uh, in celebration of um, Travis and I's uh, 16th wedding anniversary. Uh, I wanted to do something to show the world how much I love him and appreciate him for being such a wonderful husband. Travis, you are the best thing other than God that has ever happened to me. I love you so much. I thank you for everything that you've done for me. I thank you for being such a wonderful and supportive husband and father. I thank you for always speaking those words of encouragement in my ear. I thank you for giving me that tough love even when I don't want it. I thank you for always being there for the girls and for our son. Um, a lot of people uh, don't see marriage as an option these days and this is the message that I want to send out to everybody else out there. A lot of people have lost hope and faith in marriage. God created marriage. He ordained marriage. It's a beautiful thing. It's a lot of hard work. My husband has been there for me through thick and thin with our first daughter. The doctor didn't think that uh, both of us would survive, but he was there praying for me and cheering me on every step of the way. And she was born, and she, today she's healthy and she's happy. And we're two kids later, so now we got three kids. He's a hard working man. up today I read an article in Essence magazine Leah Long she made the comment and I think she's a wonderful actress uh, that marriage wasn't her top priority because she hasn't been around a lot of people who have had successful marriages and when I hear that it breaks my heart that's not the first time I've heard that but marriage is something that's possible Satan attacks marriage he's trying to attack the integrity of marriage but I'm here to tell you today that it is through God that anything can survive. And if you put him first, then everything else will fall into place. So I'm hoping that people will see these pictures. They'll see us. We married young. I was 19 when I got married. But here it is 16 years later as a married couple, 18 years later as a couple, and we're still holding strong. Once again, I want to send a shout out to my husband, my best friend, my baby daddy. And I want you to know, baby, I love you so much. And here is to another 1600 more million years i thank you so much the past year and two years has been quite rough um, and in february of next year it'll be two years that my sister passed away and 
My husband was there for me every step of the way. He held my hand. He prayed me out of depression. He prayed me back into the real world. He prayed me back to life. And I don't know what I would have done without him. So once again, baby, I love you. And I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. I love you so much. Bye. I mean, not bye, but see you when you get home. Or when you get this. I don't know. Bye. Love you all. You all have a place.